you're gonna go back in and you're just gonna massage this on your face you massage it on the forehead wrinkles and you go back in and you massage it on the deep lock lines lift tighten and firm the skin this actually have my skin looking so young so fresh just a naturally glowing skin My first ingredient is coffee and today I'm using coffee beans. What I'm going to do is brew the coffee. So go ahead and brew or you can actually use some from your leftover coffee. We're using unflavored coffee for this recipe. Once the coffee is brewed, we're going to set it aside and move on to the second ingredient. My second ingredient is aloe vera gel and today I'm using store-bought aloe vera gel. I'm using about two tablespoons of the aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is great for the skin, hydrates the skin, clear pigmentation from the skin, good for sun damaged skin, and it also helps the skin to look younger and fresher by reducing wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. I'm going to mix the aloe vera gel up, waking it up, turn it into a creamy consistency and then I'm going to move on to my next ingredient which is cucumber seed oil. Cucumber seed oil is a very light oil, a very pleasant oil to use directly on the skin or to mix with other ingredients. It is rich in vitamin C therefore it will help to boost collagen and clear pigmentation on the skin. I'm using about two teaspoons of the cucumber seed oil, pour this in Give it this a mix. We're mixing cucumber seed oil and aloe vera gel together, mixing it into a creamy consistency. This is going to take about a minute or two. And now let's move on to my third ingredient. Here I have some vitamin E oil. And vitamin E oil is widely used in skincare products because it is very hydrating to the skin. Not only that, it acts as a preservative in your homemade DIY facial creams and serum. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of the vitamin E oil. If you're using the capsule, go ahead and use about three or if you're using the liquid around about a teaspoon now it doesn't matter what color your vitamin e oil is what you need to take note of is the iu if you have a higher iu anything over 15,000 iu use a little less and if you have anything under 10,000, use a little more once this is done, we are going to mix all the three ingredients together. We're mixing aloe vera gel, cucumber seed oil, and vitamin E oil. And we're going to mix and mix well. Now once this is done, we're going to reach back for our coffee. And we're going to use about a teaspoon of our strong brew coffee. We're going to add this to the bowl with the rest of the ingredient, And we are going to mix. If you have a whisk, you could go ahead and you could whisk this. If not, go ahead and keep mixing, keep stirring and take a look. Here we have it nice and creamy. This is our facial moisturizer. A facial moisturizer that is going to clear pigmentation, reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin, boost the collagen production in the skin. It's a facial moisturizer that I personally like to use at night. Apply it onto clean skin and massage it in the skin. Massage it on the face, the neck, and decollete. And you're applying this on top of your facial toner and also on top of your facial serum. From. So massage it on your skin and after that just go to sleep with it. Upon arising in the morning, you're going to just go ahead and do your regular morning skincare routine. So to store this, I like to store it in a small container. If you have a bottle with a pump, that is even better. So pour it in your storage jar.
Now you can choose to store this on your countertop for about seven days or so, but if you want a longer shelf life, go ahead and store it in your refrigerator, which it can last up to about three weeks or so in your refrigerator. Now once this is done, guys, go ahead and make a new batch. After using this for about seven days, you should notice a significant difference to your skin. The trick is to make sure to exfoliate your skin at least two to three times per week, and that is going to allow this remedy to work better on the skin. Whip it up, mix it up, and then guess what? Come back and leave a comment.